Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you some gaming on the Samsung Galaxy Tab E. So I'm going to show you how to connect up your Xbox One S controller to it. So that's this controller with Bluetooth and it works really well. And this is a tablet here. So as I said, it's a Samsung Galaxy Tab E and it's uh, model number SMT560 and it's running Android 4.4.4. .4. So it's really easy to do. All we need to do is go into settings. So go to the menu down here or I've got it on my home page here but if you go to the menu button look for settings and then tap on the Bluetooth and now it says turn on Bluetooth to see a list of available devices so I'm going to turn it on by just hitting that slide button there so now it's turned on now we need to turn on the Xbox One S controller now when you do this it is going to turn on your Xbox One or Xbox One S so you're going to have to manually turn it off and then when you're finished pairing with it, you will need to repair it to your Xbox One console by either plugging in a charging cable, so your USB to micro USB, or hitting the sync button on the controller and the sync button on the Xbox One S, which is just under the power button on the right hand side, or on the original Xbox One, it's on the left hand side, just on the side near the USB port. So let's turn this on, and we're going to hit the sync button. So there's a little sync button here, so I'm just going to tap that button there and right now that's flashing so it's looking for available devices nearby and if you have a look here it says here Xbox wireless controller so it's picked it up already and now I'm going to tap that and it's going to say pairing and that light should go to solid when it's paired and there you go you can see it's gone to solid it's as easy as that it says Xbox wireless controller connected to input device so now we will be able to move around. So now you can see I'm moving the analog stick and it's moving around down here. Right, okay, so let me show you some good games. So I press the Xbox button and it will bring me to the home. Now, Android gaming is getting better and better all the time. But I'm just going to show you some of the games that I like. Some of these are paid for games and some of them are not. So basically we've got Asphalt Extreme, that works well. We've got Real Racing 3, that works well with the controller. Riptide GP, th these two games are free. Riptide GP, Renegade, that's not a lot of money, I can't remember, I think it's about 2.99 UK pounds. Even Hill Climb Racing works, but it's just very simple. You would just be doing like left to brake and right to accelerate, or I think it's right bumper to accelerate and left bumper to brake. Uh, you've got Pac-Man, the Slither.io doesn't work with the Xbox One controller. Minecraft Pocket Edition works really well. You've got Pocket Rally Lite that works well. BB Racing works well. Spider-Man 2 works well. Modern Combat 5 works well. Asphalt 8 works well. Flash Cars works well. So these are just an example of some of the games. So if, when you look at the Android game, it says Gamepad Connected, most games will work on the Samsung Galaxy Tab E with the Xbox One controller. Now I did try and do Assassin's Creed Identity and that didn't work. Although I could move around the place and do some of the actions, I couldn't move the camera. So it didn't pick up the right analog stick, so that was no good. So let me just show you some basic games working anyway. So let's go to Spider-Man 2. I'm going to fast forward through the loading up of the games. You can use the right analog stick to move the camera around the place and it's really responsive. There's no lag or anything on this controller. It works really well with the Samsung Galaxy Tab E. And then left analog stick is actually to move him around the place and then it would be right trigger to do the web sling as you go around. So let's, uh, let's go. As you can see the graphics on this are, are really nice.
Right, if you notice that sometimes it's a bit jerky, that's because the tablet's running out of storage space because you've only got eight gigabytes on this tablet. So there's no way I would recommend going out and buying this tablet. This video is only for people that already have the Galaxy Tab E. Because I've added a 64 gigabyte micro SD card to it, but because it's running Android KitKat 4.4.4, you can only download so much apps onto the SD card. The rest goes on internal memory. And even some of the apps that for example, this app is a huge app. I think it's 1.7 gigabytes, and most of it's on internal memory, even though I've got a, a micro SD card plugged in. There you go, so you get the idea of that one. Let's go on to another game. Right, okay, so this is Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now let's just change the view to make it easier to see. So if you press in on the left analog stick, so that's L3, you can see it's changing the view. And then if I was to press in on the right analog stick, you can see him crouching. So right analog stick is to move the camera, just like if you were playing it on the proper Xbox. Left analog stick is to move around the place. Press it twice and he'll move fast. And then right trigger and you've got left trigger to place a block. And then A to jump. This is creative so if I was to do tap A twice you can see it flies up. And if I was to do right analog stick in, so R3 goes back down again uh, I can select here using the right bumper and left bumper and Y for inventory yeah, so as you can see it all works like it should work Right, let's go to BB Racing. Okay, so here we go now, about to start a race. So basically you will press A for your power up when you collect a power up. You will press Y to use this meter here when it fills up. And you've got right trigger to accelerate, left trigger to brake, and left analog stick is to steer. And again, it works really well and it's really responsive. So you can see there, left and right, let's try and get a power up. Right, so I'm going to use my power up, there you go. Right now my meter's filled up here, so let me just get power up, then I'll use a meter again. Right, so watch this power up, you see the shield there. Now I'm going to use the meter here, so I can either tap the screen, or because I've got the control in my hand, I'm just going to use Y. And you can see now it's used it. There you go, so that game works really well, let's go on to another one. Let's go to Asphalt 8. Okay, so the controls are like you would expect them to be. We've got the right trigger to accelerate. And we've got left trigger to brake and reverse. We've got left analog stick, which is the steering. And as you can see, it works perfectly. There's no lag or anything on that. 
and we have got B for boost so you know you've got your nitro up here so if I'm going along and I press B and then B again you can see that will be the perfect nitro so you can see that on this game the controller works perfectly right, let's go to another one right let's show you hill climb racing this game is a very simple game because obviously this is you know one of the original kind of mobile games but you just do right analog stick for the gas and then left analog stick for the brake so you can just go along like that and every time you want to brake just go to the left or you can use the bumpers so I've got right bumper now for accelerate and left bumper to brake so you can see it moving down here when I do it right left right left so even simple games like this can still be more fun when you connect a controller to it because you don't have in combat 5 Okay, so here's another good game that works well with the controller. So we've got the right analog stick to look around the place. We've got the left analog stick to move. We have got the left trigger to aim. And we've got the right trigger to actually fire. And then, for example, you know, to crouch, you just go R3. So right analog stick in. But it talks you through the controls in the game. So it's a good game considering it's free. Right, okay. So we're going to go to Real Racing 3. Right, okay, the controls are as follows. So left analog stick is obviously steering left and right. We've got right trigger to accelerate. We've got left trigger to brake. Change the camera angle is Y. So let's leave it on this one here to make it easier to see. So right bumper is also camera angle. Left bumper is to look behind. And if you hold down left trigger, it will reverse as well. Right, let's go. This game is another game which is free, so it's well worth downloading. And when you play it with the controller, it works really nice. Right, okay. I'll show you another game. Right, this time I'm going to go to Splash Cars. Okay, the object of this game is just to drive around and colour everything in, so paint everything as you go along. And you're only using the left analog stick, so it's very, very simple to do. And you've got to do this before you run out of fuel. So as you see, as you're driving around the place here, you can see everything's getting coloured in. If I was to hit into this building there, you can see that it's been coloured in. Again, it's into there. And you've got to collect fuel as you go along because you run out of fuel. You've got a meter up, meter up here and you're constantly running out of fuel. So the idea is just to paint as much as possible. It's a really simple game, but it's a lot of fun. It's quite addictive. Right, I'll show you Pac-Man. Right, so this is the classic Pac-Man game. Again, this is another free game to download. And you can use the directional pad or the analog stick, whatever you're more comfortable with. It's a free game, but it's a lot of fun. Again, the game works really well with the controller. You're using right trigger to accelerate. You're using left trigger to brake. 
I'll also go backwards. And then to do the stunts in the air and stuff, you're going to be using the two analog sticks. So either pushing them together or pushing them apart or pushing them up. And to steer, you use left analog sticks. And so now let me show you a jump here. If I was to go both down on the analog sticks, you see, they do stunts in the air. And then to use your boost up the top here, you press A. And again, I can't notice any lag when I'm playing this game using the Xbox One S controller, which is the Bluetooth one. I think on this particular tablet here, this Samsung Galaxy Tab E, I think the Xbox One S controller works particularly well. Right, and the one last game I'm going to show you is Pocket Rally Lite. Again, this is a free game. If you want the, the full game without the adverts, then it's still under one UK pound, so it's still really, really cheap. And on this one, you can choose, the, down at the options, you can choose how to configure your controller. So I'm going to go to options, and I'm going to go to generic gamepad. I'm going to press A. And then I'm going to tap A, and then I'm going to enter in. So, for example, I'm going to tap A for left steer, and it's going to ask me what button I want. So I want left analog stick. Right steer, I want left analog stick to the right. Accelerate, I want right trigger. Brake, I want left trigger. Camera is going to be left bumper. Reset car, I'm going to do right bumper. And pause, I'm going to do B. Okay, so there you go, that's it working there on a the configuration that we've just set up. Brake, and if you hold down brake, that will also go into reverse as well. And then to change the camera angle, left bumper. So this is a good fun game, it's got a nice, when you're driving it, it feels really nice just drifting around the corners. And again, it works well with this gamepad. Okay, so that's an example of some of the games that work well with the Xbox One S controller on the Samsung Galaxy Tab E. There's loads more to choose from. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, just Google good Android games that work well with gamepads. And then the chances are most of them should work with the Xbox One S controller when you're using the Samsung Galaxy Tab E. Now, they won't all work. For example, that Assassin's Creed doesn't work. It works on my Android TV box when I'm using the Xbox 360 controller, but yet it doesn't work on here because the right analog stick doesn't work so it's not a perfect setup it's not the same as using this on your xbox one you know that every single game is going to work with it but not every single game is going to work with it but as you can see there is a lot to choose from and there's going to be a lot more that do work with it as well so i hope you enjoyed the video if you know particular games that work with particular controllers so for example if you're using a playstation 4 controller on a particular tablet and it's working well with certain games maybe add it to the comments down below and then it will help other people looking at this and then they can say oh well I've got that tablet and now I know if I get a PlayStation 4 controller it's going to work with it. So add it to the comments if you've got games that work well with certain controllers just add the name of the tablet or the phone and the controller and then hopefully that will help other people out. So I hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care bye now.